Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how I make this double folded rib without sewing. What I do is that I fold it double and I knit it together at the top here before continuing the work. And by doing that, the transition between the rib and the rest of the garment is elastic and you have a smooth transition that looks good both from the right side and from the wrong side. So now we'll just get started. Here I have a finished rib. I have the beginning of my round here where I cast on and I have my working yarn also at the beginning of the round at the end of the rib. And now I'm going to make this double fold and the first thing I do is simply to fold the bit here where I cast on. I fold it to the wrong side like this and this is because I want the join or seam that I am going to make. I want that to be on the wrong side to and the smooth transition on the right side. So this is where I begin. I have knit two, purl two. My round begins with knit two and when I look at the wrong side here the same two stitches are these two purl stitches. And I can also see I have the yarn, yarn end here. And I have an extra double pointed needle here. You could use a circular or whatever needle you have. And I begin to pick up stitches along the edge. And I want to pick up the same number of stitches along the edge that I have here in the round where I am now. So pick up one stitch for every cast on stitch. And this is quite easy when I have a rib because I know that for I have two knit stitches, okay, so I have to pick up two purl stitches, pick up two. So it's quite easy to keep track of when it's a rib. If you use a circular needle, you could pick up all the stitches at once. And if you use a double pointed needle, just pick up the number of stitches that you are comfortable with working on with a straight needle alongside the circular one. And now I have placed my extra needle here with picked up stitches on it parallel to my circular needle and I find my working yarn and now I'm ready to begin and What I do is to first pick up the first stitch on the round from my circular needle. And then I pick up the first stitch from my extra needle where I picked up the stitches. And then I pick up my yarn and I bring it 
through the first stitch here on my extra needle and then through the stitch on my circular needle. So now I have knitted the first stitch together from the two needles. And I do the same thing again. Pick up the first stitch from each needle, bring my yarn through both stitches and off the needle. I almost lost my yarn there so I have to fix this. There you go. And this is how I continue. And now I will knit all stitches. So now when I get here to the purl stitches, I am going to knit those as well. Pick up the stitch on both my circular needle and my extra. And this is how I continue throughout the round. And if you use double pointed needle here like me, after finishing all these stitches, you pick up new stitches and continue until the round is finished and when I get a little further I'm going to show you the result but for now for this short piece I have done this is what it looks like you can see it joins here and I'll get back to you when it's easier to see the result. And here you can see how it looks so far. This is the wrong side, this is the right side. This is the folding edge. And it's almost, it's like a tunnel. And now I'm going to continue throughout the round. And then finish uh, or begin the pattern of the hat. And uh, that's it really. Thank you so much for watching.